Class auto cap cap more pre rewind play button. Speech off. My thing. We better get back to reality now to folk songs. This one is from Scotland. I learned from a, a friend of mine over there. Beautiful In 1983, song. just three months before he died, Luke appeared with the Dubliners on RTE's The Music Show. It was to be his final television performance. I must away now. I can no longer tarry. Middle 70s going into the 80s. I think things started to go a little bit wrong for Luke in as much as his health started to deteriorate. I remember we went to a club in Birmingham. I looked around after a while and he was fast asleep. Just fell asleep. And when it was time to go, I had to give him, come on Luke. So. And he said, well, I don't feel that good. Uh, I think that was when the headaches were, were beginning to play. Uh, what could you say? They, they were starting to hurt. And um, I think that was the start of, of, of well, he was diagnosed with, with brain tumours uh, eventually. A lot of the time, well, Luke was forgetful and that, and, and John and I often discussed this, and we used to think it was a gargle, you know. But sure, it was actually the, 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 the tumour was, was growing, and, and um, his forgetfulness became more frequent. And he didn't like anybody talking about it. I think, I think he, he had a few words with our Jim. Jim mentioned something about his health, and I don't think he was too happy about it. But uh, maybe that was Luke. Luke wouldn't want anybody making a big fuss. I was in Cork. I was singing in West Cork the night he collapsed on the stage in the Opera House in Cork. Then we were in Cork. Well, he, well, he was hospitalised there, and fair play, the man that got him that time saved his life. We went at the same the next day, and he was sitting up in the bed after the operations, as right as rain. What's all the fuss about was his attitude, you know. But unfortunately, the, the tumour was deep-seated, and, and after another couple of operations, there was nothing more they could do. It, it, it kept uh, growing again. We all knew that they, this was very serious. Um, indeed, I met him a few times after that when he was around and very quiet. He became very reserved and very quiet. When you think of Luke singing, it was the power of his voice uh, without a microphone, that, and, and he would throw that voice, and there was such strength and such dynamism about it uh, that you knew immediately when you met him that that was gone. He was devoid of self-pity, absolute no self-pity, no down. I think he considered it a nuisance and a limiting factor in his life. It really was limiting his life, and for that it was a nuisance. But there was no self-pity, no complaining, none at all. Just, that's the way the cards are dealt, and, and you play with the cards you have in your hand. When he was checking into hospital for the last time, he had to fill up the usual registration form, and when it came to re religion, what religion are you? Formerly, he might have said, I'm a communist or an atheist, but this time he said, RC. So maybe, maybe that was one of the signs of resignation, you know. He's the only person I ever saw on a life support machine. And I remember going home to my wife and kids and I was crying. I said, if anything ever happens to me, don't ever, ever put me on that thing, ever. Just let me go. And I, I, I was, it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life, uh, to see him he was such a strong body character in this total state of, of, of it was awful. I, I can't even describe it. And uh, um, we went through.